Here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. That's right, and good evening, everybody. We're going to start off tonight with a very cool picture from Leon Jensen. This is over Yellowstone Lake, and what you're looking at here is the Milky Way, and he says, I think maybe that one may be Mars tonight. Cool-looking shot there. Thanks, Leon, for sending that in. Meanwhile, let me show you another picture tonight that came in from uh, Loretta Groff Hurley. You're looking at the crazy mountains out there by Big Timber. This was early this morning before the smoke started wafting into the region. Now it's hard to even see the mountains, she says. So let's move on and show you what's happening out here right there. Tonight, here in Billings, here's what's happening downtown. It's actually a pretty nice night for us. We have 72 degrees, a few high clouds starting to roll in right now. The wind is out of the south at about 7 miles per hour. Our high temp today actually topped out at 85. Yeah, it was a pretty warm day. I think this is going to be the warmest day for the next seven because we are looking at a cold front moving through. That will start cooling things back down to normal. Your normal high this time of year, 76 degrees. The record was 92 back in 1966. And as far as precipitation, nothing new to add to the total today. In fact, we have had no precipitation at all for the month of September. Now, for the year, we're still way ahead of normal 1638 only need to be at 1044 and as you'll see here our current temperatures are cooling down we're into the 50s and 60s out in the west back here in the east more like the 60s and a few low 70s buildings one of the hot spots at 72 it's 74 in cody and warley coming in right around 70 degrees at this hour but look at our reported highs for today look at how hot it got look at all these 80s upper 80s 89 degrees at glasgow 88 over in mile city out in the west it was a little bit cooler today because they had the cold front blow through there first, so they actually only got into the 70s on the other side of the mountains. But here's what's happening tonight. You'll notice our thunderstorm outlook had originally a threat of some isolated showers in the northwest. Those have since moved on. Now our only chance of showers is back here in North Dakota. And we take a look at it on a Doppler radar. You can see a couple of sprinkles moving through just east of Haver. They continue to make their way back up into Canada and eventually come back down in towards North Dakota. But the rest of the Montana, it's just kind of dry. We've got a few mid-level high-level clouds here in the south central and eastern part of the state. Those will move out later tonight. The clear skies you see in the southwest are expected to move into the Billings area as the night goes on. So what is also happening is we have a cold front right through here. That cold front continues to move in at the surface. By tomorrow morning, it'll be almost clean through the state, certainly past the Billings area. Cooler air moving in behind that. Any showers? Maybe a little bit by 6 p.m. on Tuesday night, but after that, that whole system blows out of the way. Cooler air comes in behind that. A few scattered showers again moving in for Wednesday. We're not expecting a great deal of rain, but I think a lot of places could pick up maybe right around a quarter inch. Haver will pick up a little bit more than that. Everyone else will probably get a little less than a quarter inch here in Billings and in Miles City, Sheridan, Cody, and Warland. We're not expecting any rain at all. We're going to totally miss it. It's all going to go around us. In the meantime, here's what's going to happen tonight. Temps cooling down to the 30s and 40s out west. Back here in the east, generally into the 50s. Some 40s, clearing skies, clear to partly cloudy skies this evening. Tomorrow, back up into the 70s, not the 80s. 78 of Harden, 74 in Billings in the far west. Maybe some 60s and 70s out there. Now, for Billings tonight, it'll be clear in 52 with a west wind at maybe 10 to 20 miles per hour. Those clearing skies will be moving in. Then for the next seven days, look at this. Into the 70s, right on through Friday and Saturday, mostly sunny skies. We cool down to 68 degrees on Sunday with a chance of rain. Then on Monday, 66 degrees with about a 20% chance for rain showers in the morning. Then after that, sunny skies again. That's a look at the weather. Let's go back to Jay.